Sensors are simple electronic devices that detect and convert a change in pressure, temperature, or mechanical movement into an electrical signal. There are four basic types of sensors, pressure, temperature, position, and speed. The speed timing circuit is the most important of all the basic circuits. This speed timing signal tells the ECM the position and speed of the engine camshaft and crankshaft. The ECM requires these signals to govern engine operation. The speed timing signal is so important that it has two sensors, a camshaft sensor and a crankshaft sensor. Each sensor has a different advantage. The camshaft sensor provides a clear signal identifying engine top dead center. However, due to dynamics of the front gear train, there is a slight amount of timing variability when using the camshaft signal only. The crankshaft sensor provides a more accurate timing signal because it reads directly off the crankshaft. Yet it cannot determine if the engine is on the power stroke or exhaust stroke. The engine will continue to operate if either sensor fails. If the ECM detects a loss of RPM signal from one sensor, it will automatically switch to the other sensor and indicate both an active and a logged fault. The ECM will delay lighting the check engine light after detecting a sensor failure because the engine will continue to operate without loss of performance. However, the ECM does immediately indicate the fault so the service technician can find and repair the problem. In case of a camshaft sensor failure, the engine may crank longer before starting. Since the crankshaft sensor cannot determine the power or exhaust stroke, a strategy in the ECM alternates injection timing every two seconds of cranking until the engine starts. The accelerator pedal position sensor circuit determines desired engine speed by sensing the position of the accelerator pedal and sends a pulse width modulated signal back to the ECM. The ECM then compares desired engine speed to actual engine speed, determining how to fire the injectors. The operator selects an engine speed with the accelerator pedal. The position of the accelerator pedal generates a pulse width modulated signal which the ECM translates into the desired engine speed. The ECM then compares the desired engine speed to the actual speed, determining if the injectors should deliver more or less fuel. The ECM increases the duration of the current to the injectors, delivering more fuel and increasing engine speed if the actual engine speed is lower than desired. If the actual engine speed is higher than desired, the ECM decreases duration to reduce fuel delivery. With less fuel, engine speed drops very rapidly until actual engine speed matches desired speed. The ECM uses many other sensor inputs besides the accelerator pedal position signal to determine the correct operation of the EUI injectors. The ECM must determine three things to control injector operation. Injection timing or when injection starts, the quantity of fuel injected, and engine speed in order to determine current duration and length of injection. All sensor inputs are compared to the software maps in the ECM and output signals are sent to the injectors. These output signals control actual engine operation. The boost pressure sensor measures boost pressure in the intake manifold and sends a DC signal back to the ECM. The ECM uses the boost pressure signal to limit fuel delivery and prevent overfueling and black smoke. This serves the same function as a mechanical fuel air ratio control. The atmospheric pressure sensor measures atmospheric pressure in order to compensate for altitude. 
it sends a DC signal back to the ECM. The ECM uses the atmospheric pressure signal to adjust timing and fuel delivery, maintaining engine performance and emissions at high altitudes. The atmospheric pressure sensor is also used to automatically calibrate the other pressure sensors. The engine oil pressure sensor measures the pressure of the engine lube oil and sends a DC signal voltage back to the ECM. The ECM uses the oil pressure signal to help determine if the engine is operating with low oil pressure. Every engine is equipped with an engine monitoring system that can be programmed to off, warning, derate, or shut down. The ECM will turn on a warning lamp when a low oil pressure condition exists. If the ECM is programmed to derate, engine power will be reduced. If programmed to shut down, the engine will shut down. This shutdown option is not available on earth moving vehicles. Diagnostic codes logged will be low oil pressure or very low oil pressure. The coolant temperature sensor measures the temperature of the engine coolant. It converts temperature into a resistance value that the ECM reads. The ECM uses the coolant temperature signal to help determine proper injection timing. If coolant temperature is below a certain point, the ECM engages the cold mode strategy. Cold mode is an electronic strategy which retards injection timing to improve cold performance and reduce white smoke. Engine performance is slightly impaired during cold mode operation due to retarded injection timing. When the engine warms up to near normal operating temperature, the cold mode strategy is disengaged and normal performance strategy resumes. The ECM also uses the coolant temperature signal for high temperature protection. Every engine is equipped with an engine monitoring system that can be programmed to off, warning, derate, or shut down. The ECM will turn on a warning lamp when a high temperature condition exists. If the ECM is programmed to derate, engine power will be reduced. If programmed to shut down, the engine will shut down. This shutdown option is not available on earth moving vehicles. There are diagnostic codes for high engine temperature and very high engine temperature. The intake air temperature sensor measures the temperature of the air entering the intake manifold. It converts temperature to a resistance value that the ECM reads. The ECM uses the intake air temperature signal to help determine proper injection timing and engage or disengage the cold mode strategy. High intake air temperature will turn on a warning lamp if the electronic monitoring system is programmed to warning, derate or shut down. However, high intake air temperature will not cause the ECM to derate or shut down the engine. Diagnostic codes are high intake air temperature and very high intake air temperature. The fuel temperature sensor measures the temperature of the fuel in the supply passage of the cylinder head. It converts temperature into a resistance value that the ECM reads. The ECM uses the fuel temperature signal to help determine the proper quantity of fuel to inject. The volume of fuel expands as the fuel gets hotter. As engine temperatures increase, the combustion chamber requires a greater volume of fuel to produce the same level of power. Software maps in the ECM adjust injector duration and increase fuel delivery to compensate for increasing engine temperatures. The ambient air temperature sensor is an OEM installed option which measures outside air temperature on applications which use a programmed idle shutdown feature. 
the sensor converts temperature to a resistance value that the ECM reads. The ECM uses the ambient air temperature signal to help determine if a programmed idle shutdown can be overridden if ambient air temperatures are extremely hot or cold. The most common use is on trucks where an operator may need to leave the engine running to operate the air conditioner or heater during a rest period. This sensor is an optional feature. The coolant level sensor is an OEM installed option which monitors the level of the engine coolant in the radiator. It is a sensor that acts like a switch. When covered with coolant, it sends a high signal voltage back to the ECM. When the sensor is not covered, indicating low coolant level, it sends a low signal voltage. The ECM also uses the coolant level signal for low level protection. Every engine is equipped with an engine monitoring system that can be programmed to off, warning, derate, or shutdown. The ECM will turn on a warning lamp when a low coolant level condition exists. If the ECM is programmed to derate, engine power will be reduced. If programmed to shut down, the engine will shut down. This shutdown option is not available on earth moving vehicles. There are diagnostic codes for low coolant level and very low coolant level based on how long the condition exists.